in this short video, I'm going to show you my technique that I've picked up over the years for hackling a standard dry fly. So having an even base to start with is important. So I'm starting with a thread base. But I'm not going to stick with a thread base um, like you see in some of the other videos because realistically, you're probably going to want a little bit of a fatter um, thorax where you tie it in. So I'm going to add some uh, super fine dubbing here in a minute. When I tie that um, stripped stem in, I leave about maybe a millimeter, maybe a little bit less so that I'm able to bend it like that at 90 degrees and really get, get a sharp bend in that quill. That's going to allow me to start my wraps without any fibers um, facing backwards. You know, none, none are going to be trapped facing backwards because the initial quarter turn is going to be just quill. So here I'm going to add a little bit of um, dubbing. Now I'm starting it behind there because I want to make sure that I don't start wrapping hackle at the edge of a bump because that again is going to make fibers face backwards right at the beginning. And I'm not going to have that vertical, nice looking hackle. You'll also notice that I have not stripped half of the hackle off of the stem. That is, in my opinion, for Instagram heroes. So I want all the feather I can get. The key here is going to be um, getting your bend so that the shiny side is forward. It's my preference. Get that bent in that direction so that it's starting out. Now I got a few that are kind of facing back a little bit, so I want to make sure that I get a nice vertical start. And then every single wrap forward needs to be in front of the last one so that I'm not trapping any fibers down. Sometimes I'll need to sweep fibers back a little bit out of the way with my fingers in order to um, in order to not trap fibers forward. I got a little bit of a twist going um, on my feather, but that was really just to keep it oriented properly. Now, this is a trick that I picked up from Barry Ord Clark recently uh, in a video that he did on his bomber. <laughs> so it's really cool. Like you, before you do your final wrap, you figure out where you're going to be tying in at, and then you strip fibers off of the quill. Um, I use my tweezers to do that. And you get a nice clean tie-in point that's not going to have any trapped fibers when you tie in. I, I saw that and I was just like, light bulb went on. I was like, oh my god, that's so much easier. So now I've got just quill that I'm tying in on. And I'm not trapping any fibers. Sorry about my fingers for a sec there. That's it. And then I just pull that up, trim it off nice and flush. And I put a few more wraps over that to, uh, you know, just kind of form up a, a small head. And then I'm going to do a couple of uh, three turn whip finishes on it. That thread, by the way, is um, my preference for dry fly um, tying. It's uh, Benici 12 aught. Uh, it happens to be an olive, but whatever. It's just demonstration purposes. Um, and that's a, a dyed um, dark brassy dun. I believe that's a Hebert Miner. I actually got that from a buddy on trade. And that's it. Not. Instagram perfect hackle, but really nice thick hackle that's going to float for you.